I'm Emma and today we're going to be making lentil meatloaf. One of my dad's friends told me that this was a great recipe and he really loved it. So he sent me the recipe and now I'm going to try it. So this is a vegan recipe, fully vegan, no meat. It's a meatless meatloaf. So let's get started. First, we're um, gonna get our lentils going because this calls for cooked lentils, so I'm gonna go get that going. So now it's time to cook our lentils. So I have three cups of water here. I'm gonna put this into a medium uh, saucepan. I'm gonna put my lentils. Turn this to high. Once it's boiling, I'm just gonna turn it down and let them simmer for 25 minutes. While I'm here, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375. While the lentils are cooking and my oven is preheating, we are going to cut our vegetables. So I have around three stalks of celery here. I'm gonna chop these. Perfect. Now I'm gonna mince my garlic, so two cloves. Now we're gonna peel our carrot. Okay, this is all peeled, so now I'm gonna clean up this. So now I'm gonna cut this, um, not too thin, but not too thick. This thick. I've already cut up my onion um, to also put in here. So I am gonna go to the stove and cook our veggies. So I have a large skillet here. I'm gonna turn this to medium heat. And I have some olive oil here. I'm gonna drizzle this in. I'm just gonna let this heat up, then we can put in our vegetables. My pan is hot, and now we're gonna add our bowl of veggies and onion and garlic. I've got a wooden utensil here. That's what I'm gonna use to move this around. And I'm gonna cook this about eight to 10 minutes until they're softened. My veggies are done and I drained my lentils. So I have a large food processor here. We're gonna put in all of our ingredients. So the vegetables we cooked. Now we're gonna add our cooked and drained lentils. Ooh, so much steam. Some quick cooking oats, flaxseed, tamarind, I have some dried thyme. Ooh, let me, in the, let me know in the comments what your favorite spice is. Mine's garlic powder. Salt and walnuts. And the final ingredient, a few grinds of fresh black pepper. Okay, I'm gonna food process this. I don't want this to be totally smooth, a little bit chunky, but not super chunky. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides. Give it a little stir. Okay, some more mixing. And that's probably good. We're gonna take out our blade carefully first. Just gonna scrape every last scrap off of it. Okay, set that aside. Now I have a line faking tin. Um, what I did was, I, it said to do this, you oil it, like spray oil, and then you put on the parchment so that it sticks. What a brilliant idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Okay, I'm gonna put this into my pan. Now I'm gonna pack this down and spread it out with my cup measure. I'm just gonna clear up here, then we can make our glaze. This glaze is essentially a homemade ketchup. So I have some tomato paste here, I have a spoon. Put this into a bowl. Okay, now I have some maple syrup here. I'm gonna also put this in. Balsamic vinegar, and now a pinch of salt. Now is the final ingredient. Now we just need to mix this in. I have my pan of 
meatless meatloaf. I am going to put my sauce on. I'm gonna spread this out. I just need to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. So now it's time for a taste test. We've got my brother Teddy coming in to help me taste it. Okay, let's stab into our food. Three, two, one. Think a medium. It's not the best, but it's better than some foods. It's better than meatloaf. Have you even had meatloaf before? I have. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. This is better than meatloaf. Mm, okay. It was relatively easy, which means that I guess it ha the score has to be higher. You can meet a little your nose. Oh. Thanks for watching. I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. That's it for today. Um, I think it was pretty good. Hope you make this recipe at home. I love you guys.